Hey everyone, welcome! YesBot and I were just discussing how yo-yos work. Would you like to join in? Great. Well, we have to talk about energy before we can talk about yo-yos. Energy is the ability of an object to do work or cause change. A yo-yo demonstrates two types of energy, potential and kinetic. Potential energy is stored energy, and kinetic energy is the energy of moving objects. When you hold a yo-yo in your hand, with the string coiled around the axle, it has a lot of potential energy because it has energy ready to be used. When you release the yo-yo, it begins to drop and spin. At this point, potential energy is converted to kinetic energy because the yo-yo is now moving. This is what it would look like if I tried to show you what a yo-yo can do. Here is Maxwell Martinez who can do some awesome things with a yo-yo. As the yo-yo spins and falls, it has linear and angular momentum. You can think of momentum as the power or oomph that an object has if it were to hit something. Linear momentum is when an object travels in a particular direction. And angular momentum is when an object spins instead of traveling in a straight line. Momentum is always conserved. This means as the yo-yo spins down and reaches the end of the string, it wants to keep spinning even though there's no more string to travel down. This causes the yo-yo to coil itself back up and travel up the string. This is also what makes a yo-yo a great toy to do tricks with. The yo-yo will always want to travel back up the string even when you toss it in different directions. 